Jonathan Ernst Reuters military personnel with the White House Communications Agency are under investigation after alleged improper contact with women in Vietnam. Three members of a White House team staffed by military personnel have been removed from their positions after being accused of improper contact with foreign women during President Donald Trump's recent trip through Asia, the Washington Post reported Tuesday. The unnamed members of the White House Communications Agency, a military unit that provides secure communication channels for Trump and others, are currently being investigated, a spokesman for the Department of Defense told the Post. The alleged incident reportedly happened while Trump was in Vietnam as part of his 12-day tour of Asia. The Secret Service directed media inquiries to the WHCA. HuffPost has reached out to the agency for comment. The Washington Post noted that, if the staffers are found guilty, they could lose their security clearances or be subject to disciplinary measures, including court-martial. The WHCA, a branch of the White House military office, is staffed by former military service personnel, according to The Hill. Service members who travel alongside the president and other senior officials are required to register their contact with foreigners during international trips in order to protect national security, the Post said. Four members of the same communications team were removed from Vice President Mike Pence's detail in August after they broke curfew and brought women back to their hotel rooms during a trip to Panama. The incident was uncovered after the staffers were seen bringing the women into a secure area on security camera footage. They did not register the women when they brought them in. Ten members of the Secret Service were also fired after they were accused of taking prostitutes to their hotel rooms during a trip to Colombia in advance of a visit by President Barack Obama in 2012. Download Do You Have Information You Want to Share with HuffPost? Here's how. Nick Visser Reporter, HuffPost.